The Silent Movie 2's iteration of Knuckles is the return to form that we truly needed from Knuckles the Echidna. You see, in recent years, Knuckles seems to me like he's more of a personality than actually being a character, and that's a huge problem, because if Knuckles only operates as just a personality, then you only get a limited one-dimensional side of this character. I'm sure we all know this by now, but Knuckles comes off as a character who doesn't really do a whole lot in the series, and when he does do something, it's so minuscule that it doesn't even seem to matter all that much. Like, for example, he led the resistance in Sonic Forces, but he didn't really do anything on screen that gave us any indication that he actually did anything at all. They just told us he was the leader, and that was really all that we got. And even when Knuckles is given a sufficient amount of time on screen, it doesn't even really seem like he did much of anything. I mean, his presence really isn't felt all that much. And you can say this about a lot of Sonic characters nowadays, but this was a character who actually was written very well. During the early days of Sonic Adventure and even Sonic 3, Knuckles came off as a character who was reserved, but he would also fight for what he believed was right. Yes, Knuckles was gullible enough to fall for Dr. Eggman's tactic in Sonic 3 to have him fight Sonic and Tails, but that didn't make him an idiot. Knuckles extended his hand to be gracious towards Eggman because he believed that Eggman was telling the truth. And also, with this information, Knuckles had never even met Sonic and Tails before, so how was he to know that Eggman was tricking him? But I think this is really important to point out because Knuckles is just trying to do the right thing. He's trying to do what he personally believes is the correct thing to do, and if he's wrong, he's willing to be opened up for correction, as he was at the end of Sonic 3. And this movie captures that exact same feeling from Knuckles that I get from these games in the past in this one movie. Now, the reason behind Knuckles working alongside Eggman here is a bit different than how it was in Sonic 3, but it still gets the same idea across. Knuckles is after Sonic the Hedgehog because he believes that he is the antagonist. He believes that he is the bad guy. Another really important thing that we learn about Knuckles' character is just how much he values family and friendship. You see, his whole backstory hinges on the fact that he lost everyone he really cared about in a war against the Owl Tribe. This not only explains Knuckles' roots, and how he's the only kid in the left, but also gives him a bit more backbone and a reason why he's really upset with Sonic and the reason why he believes that Sonic is truly the antagonist. I would argue that Knuckles builds a trust and perhaps even a friendship with Dr. Eggman in the beginning of the Sonic movie too, just simply over the bond of having a hatred for Sonic. Although Knuckles begins to lose trust throughout the movie because of the way Eggman treats the people around him, like Agent Stone for example. In the scene where Eggman finally figures out the location of where Sonic and Tails might be, he suggested Knuckles that they should probably drop and ghost Agent Stone, although Knuckles thinks this is really weird because Agent Stone is part of their team, and the fact that Eggman would betray his own partner here is not only strange to him, but also it kind of puts into question whether or not Eggman can be trusted. A similar thing happens in Siberia where Knuckles and Sonic have their second encounter. The two of them are able to converse and Knuckles understands Sonic's history and how he was affected by the war between the two tribes. But during that conversation, Knuckles ends up getting trapped by Tails, leading Knuckles to believe that Sonic and Tails actually plotted against him just to deceive him and have him get captured. This is a really powerful scene because Knuckles begins to open up to his rival, his combatant, and then he immediately revokes that trust as soon as he believes he's been betrayed. Because Knuckles opened up to Sonic, I feel like in this scene he begins to trust him and understand him more, and the fight honestly could have stopped here if Tails didn't trap Knuckles, because Knuckles at this point was opening up to Sonic and the two of them were finally beginning to understand each other, and if the conversation continued, Knuckles could have understood that Eggman was actually the real threat here. But the best moment of this entire scene here is when Sonic chooses to save Tails instead of going after the compass, and Knuckles takes note of this and realizes that Sonic actually is a real friend, and he questions if Eggman would have done the same thing. But seeing as though Eggman has a rather warped view of friendship, Knuckles' doubts begin to arise. Towards the end of the movie, after Knuckles and Sonic have their sand fight, the two of them begin to converse and have a little bit of sentimentality, and Knuckles understands where Sonic is coming from now. Sonic saved Knuckles' life, and Knuckles saves Sonic back, which Knuckles at first thought was a tactical advantage, but in all reality, Sonic just didn't want to see him die. Sonic wanted Knuckles to have another opportunity to live his life and have a family. In this scene, I feel like Knuckles is is beginning to question if he can actually find someone that he can really trust because after having been tricked by Dr. Eggman and being kind of left alone, he didn't really think he could find that in a person again.
again, or an animal again. So when Sonic extended his hand of grace, offering that olive branch of friendship, Knuckles, of course, accepted. I love this way depicted how Knuckles cares about friendship, but another thing that it does really well is the way how it showcases Knuckles' strength. We see Knuckles as a warrior, and he mentions this throughout the movie. And even from his first introduction when he comes out of that ring portal, you can feel just how menacing and big this character feels. He has a huge presence, and it is felt by everyone in the room. This character not only looks strong, but he also feels strong too. And it also seems like every movement he makes in this movie is done done with purpose. This movie presents Knuckles in a sophisticated, no-nonsense kind of way, and when Knuckles makes a mistake, it isn't because he's dumb, it's because he just doesn't know any better. He's ignorant, and it's a good kind of ignorance. This is why I say that movie Knuckles is everything that Knuckles should be, and more. This is just how I always saw Knuckles, and I'd like to see him portray this way going forward in not just the movies, but also the games and other media as well. This is peak Knuckles. But anyway, I now want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of Movie Knuckles? Do you think he's the best portrayal we've seen, or do you think otherwise? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. And also, while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on the video because I would really appreciate it, and also goes a super long way. But anyway, now's a great time as I need to shout out my legendary channel members. Thank you all so very much for supporting me and my channel and creating the best possible content that I can create. Videos like these would not be possible without you. You guys motivate me a lot, and I really appreciate appreciate it y'all are truly the best and i praise the lord for y'all every single day if you're interested in becoming a member of my channel there'll be a link in the description down below but if you want to support me through other means i have a merch store and you guys can check out all sorts of sonic swag whether it be hoodies hats t-shirts you name it we got it the link will be in the description for that as well but anyway thank you all again so much for watching this is sonic on and out have a super blessed day y'all why are you playing that trash